I'm Jaden Heskey. I'm a striker and midfielder for Man City, under 18s, and welcome to my day in the life. So how long have you been at the Man City Academy for now? I've actually been at Man City since I was four, but then obviously you sign your contract at nine, but like I was in like the pre-academy since four, so it's been a, a long time. How do you feel that's gone? Have you seen some personal development and growth in those years? Yeah, yeah, definitely, like technical, and then you understand the game a lot better over the years, and yeah, just improved, just gradually. We've moved three times, but like always been in the Manchester kind of area, but yeah, it's always been about like half an hour, 45 minutes to get in. Normally, it's aimed to get in at like nine o'clock, breakfast at nine, and you wait until like half 10, you do P2P, and go out for training. Um, 11, come in at training, say half 12-ish, have some lunch, and then we have education. So we do education like half one for two hours, and then sometimes, depending on the day, we'll have gym, and it's the day done. All good. Yeah, all good. So when you go for breakfast, is there like a, a wide range of choices of food that you guys can have? Yeah, yeah, there's quite a bit. So normally everyone just goes straight to the toasters. There's like bread, like white bread, brown bread, bagels. You got your beans, scrambled eggs, poached eggs. I got porridge, porridge this morning. I wouldn't really say there's like a strict diet. It depends, but you just kind of know what the bad foods, the good foods are to eat, and yeah, make the decision yourself. We're going to do a run through now for your um, assessment for your sport and excellence professional apprenticeship, and we're going to look at five clips here that you need to analyse from a technical tactical point of view as much detail as you can. So at the end of it, I can then distinguish whether you're actually going to have a distinction or, or whether you're actually going to pass at the end of it. Most of the players are doing sport science, like a sport science course uh, over the two years. I did A-levels last year. I did my business A-level in a year, so I finished that. I'm just doing the sport science one for now. Sometimes once you come in from training, then you have education, you're kind of dreading it a bit. But yeah, I just try my best in education and on the pitch as well, yeah. So let's run the clip through. What are you thinking here? Yeah, so at this point, just to stretch the play, like to give the midfielders as much space as they can have. Yeah. So I'm pinning like the centre backs back, so they have like see all that space there. Big space in to between. Work with, yeah. But yeah. At that moment, that's what I'm thinking anyway, tactically. And then yeah, positioning there to receive. Um, yeah, tactically timing it, timing it um, correctly to drop down and. What's your the thought ball. there with your body position? Got to hold the defender off first and like make sure I get control of the ball and then. Yeah, so try. strong position. Yeah, yeah. You have these personal development sessions. What do they involve? A mixture of everything, really. They sometimes get external people coming in, just do chats about like mental health and stuff. And one of them was just literally just sat in a circle and just have a conversation about like just go around asking people questions and yeah, they just they just help with general things in life. I think really. Right, our press for um, this weekend. So, most of you have seen this before, but some of you haven't done it in a game for a long time. The 17s guys will have. This is how we're going to press, okay? Nine's quite a big lad as well, fellas. Sometimes they do go direct into him from the goalkeeper, so we need to be aware of that. Centre halves need to be aggressive. And then with the ball, we'll go back to um, playing box, okay? So, we'll just do a little bit of work on that over the next couple of days just to get back into the rhythm of it making the right decisions, making the right movements, etc, etc. For me, it's just like to loosen up a bit before we actually go out. I think it like, reduces the chance of getting injured as well. That's, that's a good part of it. But yeah, I just do a couple of exercises, like specific ones, like to get my glutes and my like, hammies a bit on stiff. But yeah, it just gets me ready for training, really. Whenever you're in training, you always got to put like 100% in. Like, there's a big focus on pressing as well, so that gets the intensity up. Yeah, out of possession, you got to be on it, and then in possession, it will. It's a high intensity, so you got to be good technically as well. Him and Jamie get a little plan together what you want to work on throughout the season, and then it's like technically, tactically, 
then you just come together and then yeah, just throughout the season you're working on it, doing individual sessions after training, like might be shooting, first touch, stuff like that, yeah. Have you trained with 13 yet at all? Yeah, yeah, so I did it for the first time this season, but since then, yeah, I've trained with them four times, but that's that's quite a big difference. I always thought it'd be a lot faster, but once you're actually there, you just feel tired straight away because like the intensity is so high with them. But yeah, it was a good experience though, every time I've been with them. I wouldn't say like just one-to-one, -one, no, but like once you're part of the session, he's quite vocal anyway, so he'll be speaking to all the other players and then like he's quite animated, so he'll, he'll get you involved, like telling you what to do. So you're always just listening to him, whatever he's saying. It's always going to be higher intensity the more you go up the age groups. And yeah, then once you've been playing in them, you get you kind of get used to it with your body here. I feel like I've, I am more fit now. Last season, playing and training with the under-21s, Oscar was always in that age group. So and just training with him, you'd see the level that he was at. and. Yeah, you just you just see that like, you have to be at that level. You're just striving every day to be like them. Throughout a day, it's like quite full on. Like you've always got something going on in the between time. Like having like a half an hour maybe just to play table tennis or pool or whatever. Yeah. It's good to just like relax and like play with your mates. So, yeah. Whatever exercise you need to do, there's five different stations for it. Yeah. So uh, just everything you need to do, you've got stuff for uh, big weights on barbells, you've got the weights area just doing, I was doing dumbbell row in there. Yeah, just everything's there, so yeah, it's good to just improve. Being out twice last season, it, was, yeah, it wasn't the best. So I just want to stay fit again, play as many games as I can without getting injured, yeah. Just through the season and obviously to win the league again, yeah, with the 18s and the 21s. Obviously having Haaland and Alvarez as well, I like Alvarez a lot like, as a player. I can play up front and in midfield, but then obviously Haaland just scoring goals all the time as a striker, yeah. He's someone just to look up to in the club, yeah. We moved from Platte Lane, so I was training at Platte Lane, it would have been I think under nines maybe, and then we moved to CFA. The difference from that to, the, to here was massive. The facilities here, you literally have everything. And yeah, over the time, they've just kept building and just getting more things, more technology and stuff like that to help get better as a player, to be fair. And yeah, it's just been, it's been great. Me and my brother, we've been playing football since well, since I was like four. Yeah, just like driving us to football every day for that for that long. Yeah, uh, they've just been very supportive to help help me get to where I'm now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Whenever he feels like he he can like have a bit of an input, yeah, he'll tell me that's helped quite a bit. Like just because he's obviously been through it all himself, so he knows. And then yeah, it's always good to get like some a bits of advice really. So. I don't really get up too much to be honest. Um, I play PlayStation a bit, so I FIFA mainly. Whenever I have free, free time, sometimes go shopping maybe. I go for food with my family. So I have two little sisters. We end up going like the cinema or something, or like a little trampoline park or something like that. Just try and like do certain activities with them. Yeah, just yeah. <laughs> So that was a day in the life of me. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, see you soon.